operating systems, then you can simply uh, bring up your terminal and type SQL Lite 3. If you have Windows, then I think uh, it is installed in uh, program files. Let's see, in the program files, then there is SQL. It is downloaded. It is not. It is so it is downloaded. So wherever you download, I think my case, I think I downloaded. Uh, oh yeah, here. Uh, yeah, this. No. Is it? Yeah. I think I opened it, so unzipped it, so maybe SQL shell here. So this is this is the program SQL. I made it SQL Lite 3 okay <clears throat> oh I, I want to see um, the program that I made here SQL if it is a saved size of this size 2 kilo may not be saved. The previous ones to save this for new database. Save, save as, oh, this SQL file. Open SQL file. Open tab. I think it is saved. I think it is saved. Oops. Where? Is there any file that I need? Oh, maybe here. File, save project. Right, changes to save project. What I want to do, I want to see um, the desktop. It is created at this time, it should be saved. Let's quit this and quit exit. Exit is not. SQL Lite is uh, exit quits. How can I exit this? <laughs> I want to stop it. Uh, yeah. Anything that you want to do, you have to do dot and then uh, the command line. So dot quit, then it'll come out. And what I what I want to go is I want to see. Oops. I want to go back to desktop uh, users. Jun and see I have desktop here. Where is my desktop? Desktop here, desktop, desktop, and then I have, uh, I think I have DB. Okay, that is the DB. So SQL Lite 
3 and then that db I want to open that db sqldb.db and see if I have a database it's then it gives you there's a command here within SQLite uh, prompt some commands if it is not SQL language but some uh, definition language some other uh, the manipulation some other uh, like over some other language that you need to do some overhead over I mean um, um, I mean language other than uh, uh, database other than SQL then you start with that so if you want to see all list of such uh, uh, command then dot help gives you a whole full uh, list of uh, the command that you could use okay uh, one of them if you scroll so then there is a database here databases so that it it is all the database currently open this this is the database right now uh, again if you want to see the tables then oh it doesn't have that so we have to save somewhere here it is not saved so what's what is the way that you need to save this? Say, let's say save a project. Oh, this is a project. Or save uh, right changes, control S. Okay, that much. Okay, now we have. So what you need to do is uh, back to your um, GUI save control S but you can save all the work that you done here to for you do if you type dot tables then it lists uh, the, all the tables defined in that database Data, my database is initially I uh, made that right here if you want to see the schema of that table for example department then it shows oh, let's see schema okay it, it gives you all the schemas which one Oh, SQL Lite 3 followed by database. Yep. If we have two different uh, directory, then you need to say in the SQL Lite 3 directory, you type SQL Lite 3, or either way. And then you, s you need to uh, uh, express all the full path, path expression somewhere. For example, like this. I want to go to see mine yeah I, I said that way but if it is not then because SQLite 3 is a simple file right so what you need to do is where is my SQLite 3 it is in uh, download right in the download and CD I think it is it is in SQLite. There are many ways that you can do SQLite shell. Okay, yeah. for example, if I have here SQLite 3, 
SQLite 3, because I have SQLite 3 here, right? SQLite 3. I type SQLite 3 here. By typing this, this is not really something that I use in the system, um, right? And then you can you can specify the full path of uh, uh, your database, which is C colon backslash users backslash JUN backslash desktop backslash my first database. This is the language that you can bring op as you ex as you launch SQLite 3, you can open up your database. Okay? Or you can you can spell the all the path expression for SQLite 3 where uh, your current directory is in your database. Understand? This is just can see There's a four columns. Oh. Your expression. But how do you stop it? No matter what I do now. Some I call. Some I call and hit enter. You do, right?
say That's a little old. Yeah. If we next week, if we do a Python 